Sai Ram and welcome everyone to our value education class. Children, let's begin with the new chapter today. Look at your monitor. Who is he? Yes, he is Rabindranath Tagore. We all know him. Tagore is best known as a poet. And in 1930, he was the first non-European writer to be awarded the most prestigious Nobel Award for Literature. Tegel was also a composer he, and he wrote the national anthems for both countries, our country India and Bangladesh. He wrote anthems for both the countries. He was also an educator, he was a social reformer, he was a philosopher and a painter. So today in this lesson we will read more about Rabindranath Tagore. Chapter 13 Rabindranath Tagore, here we go. Rabindranath Tagore was a great poet, he was an artist a painter, a writer, a dramatist, and educationist, and above all, a freedom fighter. He was born on 7th May 1861 in a wealthy Bengali family in Kolkata. He was the ninth son of Debendranath Tagore and Sarala Devi. So Devendranath Tagore and Sarla Devi were parents of Rabindranath Tagore. His grandfather Dwarkanath Tagore was a rich landlord and also a social reformer. The Tagore house was a center of culture. Look at his father over here. Debendranath Tagore. This is the Tagore house, famous Tagore house, which was the center of culture. Look at this. Yes, so let's continue now. Rabindranath was first admitted into a Oriental Seminary School, but he did not like Conventional education. What is the meaning of conventional education? It means traditional education. Traditional classroom with teacher and the students. Blackboard. Okay. He did not like conventional education and started home study under several teachers. Later, he was, he went to a regular school, Bengal Academy, and St. Xavier's School, but all lasted for brief periods. At the age of seven, he started writing poetry. Yes, he wrote a poem, Abhilash, which was published in a magazine, Tatva Bhudini. Tatva Bhudini was the name of the magazine. Ravindra's mother passed away in 1875 when he was only 13 years old. The poet Ravindra Tagore, I'm talking about. Translated the Shakespeare's drama Macbeth into Bengali words and it was published in a magazine called Bharti. In the beginning of his literary work, written work, that is, there was a great impact on him by his brother 
Jyotendra Nath and his wife Kadambari Devi. Tagore regularly contributed to Bharti. That is the magazine. And Balaka, the magazines published from Tagore House. Tagore got married to Baba to Bhabatarini Devi. He got married to Bhabatarini Devi. That was in the year 1883 at the age of 22. In 1890 in 1890 he went to Shilaya Deha. Shilaya Deha is now in Bangladesh. He went there to look after the family estate, family property. Here, the poet was influenced. We are talking about Bangladesh. Okay, he was influenced by the natural beauty and simple but elegant life of ruler Bengal. Here he attended sessions of Indian National Congress and sang the song One Day Matram on the opening day. In 1894, he wrote the famous, you know, the famous poem, the famous collections of poems. That is Sonartari. Sonartari. Okay. In 1901, Rabindranath Tagore became the editor of the magazine Bangar Darshani. He, was, he also got involved in freedom fighting movements. Then he established Shantani Ketan, a school on the lines of a traditional Indian Vedic Gurukul. Open school, not the classrooms like us. He strongly protested against the division of Bengal on the basis of religion. Bengal was divided by the uh, uh, Britishers on the basis of religion, that is, on the basis of Hindus and Muslims. Many people, many Indian politicians, Indian leaders, they opposed this and Rabindranath Tagore was one of them who opposed and the partition of Bengal on the basis of religion. At this time, he wrote a number of national songs and he also attended protest meetings. In 1909, he started writing Gitanjali. Gitanjali is a collection of poems from Silai Daha, from which he won the Nobel Prize for Literature later. In 1911, he composed Janagana Mana, yes, which was later selected as the national anthem of India. Even today, Janaganamana is the national anthem of our country. Am I right? In 1912, he went to Europe for the second time. On the way to London, he translated some of his poems from Gitanjali to English. Indian Society of London, they published Gitanjali containing 103 translated poems of Tagore. The English poet, yet wrote an introduction for this book. The book created a sensation in English literary world. Now, after 
returning to Calcutta. That was on 26 December. The University of Calcutta conferred on him the honorary degree of Doctorate of Literature. Doctor of Literature. He also received knighthood in 1915. In 1916, he went to Japan and on the way, he delivered lectures in Rangoon, in Singapore, in Hong Kong, etc. He received invitations from different institutions in USA. In September, 1916, that was, he received invitations from USA. He delivered lectures in many places in USA and returned to Calcutta, that was in the year 1917. Now, in 1918, he went on a tour to South India and delivered lectures on different topics. At Madras, he spoke as a chancellor of National University, university that was founded by Annie Besant. He also stayed as a guest of Mr. Besant at Adyar in Madras. In protest, in protest against the Jallianwala Bagh massacre in Punjab, he discarded his knighthood in 1990. In 1920, he went to Gandhiji's Sabarmati Ashram, yes. Once again, he received a call from Europe in 1940. He took different places in Europe and there he delivered lectures. In 1921, he established Vishwa Bharti University and you know he gave all his money he gave all his money from the Nobel Prize that he received from the Nobel Prize and royalty money from his book to this university he donated all the money prize to this university later he went to Bombay Bombay's are Mumbai. It was called Bombay. Pune, Mysore, Bangalore, Trivandrum, Kochi, and many more places. And delivered lectures wherever he went. Again, he received invitation from China. This time he received invitation from China. He visited China once again and went to Japan, South America, Italy. You know, Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi visited Shantani Ketan on the birthday of Tagore. In 1940, Oxford University arranged a special ceremony in Shantini Ketan to honor the poet Rabindranath Tagore with a degree of doctorate in literature. But on August 7, 1941, Tagore passed away in his ancestral home at Calcutta, the house where he was born. Children, that's all with this lesson. We will meet with a new lesson in the next class. Till then, take care. Thank you.